Welcome to PPP Flexibility Act, how to track PPP loan expenses in the PPP Flexibility Act. So I have updated uh, the template, uh, if, if you haven't heard, as of this recording on June 4th, uh, the Senate passed the PPP Flexibility Act uh, late yesterday. And at this point, there were really no changes from the House version, so it needs to be signed by the President. So I have updated this template with the assumption that this is going to be uh, signed by the president because uh, it's very, very likely that it will in its current form. Okay, so I have made some assumptions on this and I want to go through this, but essentially I've updated the template uh, so that you can track your PPP loan expenses under the new provisions. Now, the primary provisions of the PPP Flexibility Act uh, are that you now get 24 weeks to spend your money instead of eight weeks, okay? That is a big, big change. Now, another change is that you only need to spend 60% of your uh, PPP loan money on payroll and benefits, and the other 40% can be spent on, you know, rent, utilities, etc. There really weren't any uh, you know, definitions or, or clarifications on what qualifies or anything like that. It doesn't look like any of that's changed. Uh, but they did uh, expand the time to pay back a PPP loan. So if you do have a portion that's not forgiven, uh, they've increased that to five years instead of two years. And they have also uh, expanded the safe harbor date which doesn't necessarily come into play for uh, tracking your expenses. It comes into play in the full-time equivalent uh, calculations, wage reduction calculations. But instead of June 30th, they have extended that to December 30th, uh, December 31st. So essentially that means that you can rehire employees by then and still qualify. Okay, so I want to go through the template a little, a little bit. I have updated this uh, for the PPP Flexibility Act and just show you a couple things. Now, pretty much everything here has uh, stayed the same. Okay, I have updated these notes a little bit and the dates are going to calculate now based on 168 days. I know it says 167 up here in the formula, but that's because it counts the 20th here in this example as one of the days. All right, so 168 days is 24 weeks times seven days a week. That's the same methodology they used before for the 56 days. And so this gives you your 24 week date. Now, in the Flexibility Act, they did not talk about the alternate payroll uh, covered period, uh, but I still have this option in here. My assumption is that that will still stay uh, in the law, okay? Now, if it doesn't for some reason, then you can just click this and hit no, all right? So uh, you still have that option to turn that on uh, or off, okay? Now, as we go down here, I have expanded this out to 24 weeks so that you can track your expenses uh, during uh, the 24 weeks instead of the eight weeks. And I have also expanded out uh, the payroll for all of these weeks as well. Okay, so one thing you will notice in the payroll is now that we have, uh, let's see, since the payroll is done down here, uh, now that we have 24 weeks before this total was capped at 15,384, well, since uh, we now have 24 weeks instead of eight weeks, that number is gonna change. So what I wanna show you on here is, you know, when you're entering payroll here, you're gonna enter the gross amounts for the employees. You do not have to adjust it for any $100,000 cap, you're just gonna put in the gross amount of the payroll, okay? So for example, if I add in another 25,000 here, you're gonna see that it automatically caps it at 46,153.85, all right? This is 24.50 seconds of the $100,000 cap. Now, again, we're assuming this cap is gonna stay in place. If for some reason it doesn't, uh, I will update uh, the template and uh, we'll put it out there for everyone to uh, download. All right, and again, uh, up here in the summary section, it's calculating the payroll and benefits and the other costs and keeping track of your percentages. Should be much easier now to uh, meet the 60-40. Uh, and over here, it shows you how much money you still have to spend of your total PPP loan amount. Okay, 
One thing I did add a note here that says uh, per HR 7010, that's the Senate version of the bill that just passed, you can still elect to use the original eight week covered period if you choose. If you do, do not use this template, okay? Use the previous template that I had provided uh, for tracking expenses, which has the eight week period. So I know a number of people have already reached the eight week period. And if they've already spent the money and meet the forgiveness, then they could go ahead and apply. But I know there are a number of businesses that haven't. And uh, so you may want to go ahead and take advantage of the 24 weeks. All right. Any questions whatsoever, um, please feel free to leave a comment uh, or a question below. Um, I have put the download link just like in the previous videos below. You click the link, it will download to your taskbar, which is right down in this area uh, on your computer. And you should be able to click it and open it, save it to your computer, whatever, and you're off to the races. All right, any questions, any comments? Uh, if you do see any errors, please feel free to uh, reach out and let me know what those might be. Happy to address those. Um, I think we've got it all covered. But again, uh, hopefully this helps, and I will talk to you soon.